Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Loic here. Today I'm going to present you what I believe to be the four best ways to become a millionaire in 2023. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel before you forget doing it. Well, I guess you all understand that reaching that kind of level obviously takes time and will not happen overnight no matter the method you will choose here. But first of all, today is a big day. My ebook is finally available since we're March 15, the day I'm releasing this video. So if you want to have a look, the link is right in the description below. Now let's dive right into it with the first point, real estate investing. So if you live in the US, you are among my luckiest viewers here today since not every country sadly offers the same opportunities. But if you don't live in the US, like you live in Europe or even in some Asian countries and you're a national of these countries, honestly, there are some great opportunities as well. For many reasons that I will detail later in this video, I would suggest you to start with a multi-family deal like a duplex or a triplex and absolutely avoid single family homes. The problem with single family homes is that you're putting all your eggs in the one basket and if your tenant leaves or something bad happens, you just lose everything. And secondly, it's not scalable. You cannot like build a real portfolio fast enough to replace any of your income. The property you will choose must have some needs of renovations basically so that you can add or reserve value in this property. However, you don't want something that's completely run down for your first experience to see how you can perform all that kind of stuff. And if you're just starting out, you know, you take something that has like no roof or like poor foundations. This is the next step I would only perform after doing like three or four deals to make sure you completely understand all that's around the property. By completing just the right amount of renovations, the property will simply get back to its previous value based on comparable properties nearby in the market. Then the first thing you can do is flip it, although I wouldn't recommend it at all. First, you pay much higher taxes than if you were to keep it. Secondly, you're just passing on potential rental income, which like, it's not too bad, right? And thirdly, you're not building wealth. You're just selling it to someone else and your portfolio will never really grow. Really, from experience, I think it's simply better to keep every property you manage to buy after the rehab and then you, you refinance the mortgage you already have on it and if done properly, if you bought it at the right price, you should be able to pull out at least part of the down payment you, you had to utilize to buy it or even the full down payment on the first property you bought and then you got it, you can reutilize the same down payment over and over to just constantly build a proper real estate portfolio. Okay, let's take one example. Imagine you're in Little Rock, Arkansas. You find a property for sale for $150,000, $70,000 of renovation. So you're all in for two, 220,000. So you need $44,000 as a down payment. But imagine this property goes back to its previous market value after all the renovation is done to $300,000. Well, although you put down 20% uh, for this property in the US when you refinance something, you can only pull out 75% of the current property's value, so you have to leave 25% in equity. But still, 75% of $300,000 is $225,000, so you can pay off your previous mortgage of $176,000, you get back your full down payment or $44,000, and even an extra $5,000 that you can use to buy another property and keep going. This is really my preferred method to build a residential portfolio of properties. This is basically called the Burr method, B-R-R-R-R. -R -R -R. That comes from Brandon Turner, the famous host or previous host of the Bigger Pockets podcast. And these words basically stand for buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat. And you can basically build a portfolio over time. By the way, although I'm not affiliated to Bigger Pockets in any way, I strongly recommend you to listen to their wonderful podcast with Brandon Turner and the other guests and hosts as well. It's really interesting if you want to dive more into the commercial or residential real estate industry. Okay, about my industry, which is commercial real estate investing. Although it may seem similar, it's totally different. And I only recommend getting into it if you want to, to make it your full-time activity because it takes a lot of time, a lot of capital, and you will need investment partners to deal with a lot of people on a daily basis. If you have like another job, even part-time on the side, 
it will be very difficult to manage all of this. Okay, let's get to the second method and probably the one that will attract the most young people like myself, building a personal brand online and generating business from it. Look at me now, what am I doing? This is exactly what I'm currently doing on YouTube, LinkedIn and Twitter building a personal brand and hopefully someday, like with my ebook, generate some business from it. I'm recording these kind of videos for you guys, my audience. I bring you valuable content, which you're watching, right? This gets me views on YouTube, leading to further monetization. But honestly, ad revenue can reach extremely high levels. And this, even if you don't have a lot of subscribers, honestly, with a thousand views, if you just generate some random entertainment content, no, you're not gonna learn a lot of money, maybe three, three bucks, you know? But if you generate business content or finance content, like I'm doing, from just a thousand views, you can get 15, 20 dollars, well, sometimes a little bit less if you're just starting out, but still between 10 and 20 dollars, I would say. But apart from that, you can also sell products on the side, like I'm doing with my ebook. There are many people who also have online mentorship programs and these generate a lot of income. And one of my best friends, he's a digital marketing expert. And from what he told me, and many people told me the same, if you take just a one person ratio, which should be pretty realistic, you get 10,000 views on YouTube. You just promote your product. With this ratio, you get 100 sales on average. Imagine someone who sells an online mentorship for $1,000. It can be a little bit trickier to sell such an expensive product, but still imagine one person. It's like a hundred sales, one hundred thousand dollars. Crazy, right? But one person for an online mentorship will really depend on the way you sell it. If it's one thousand dollars and you don't do much promotion, maybe it will be harder. But just for a seventy-five dollars ebook, honestly, a one-person ratio seems pretty realistic. Like more or less, it will depend on many other factors. But still, you make a freaking lot of sales and ten thousand views, and still. $75 times 100 is $7,500 just in one video. One of my favorite entrepreneurs in France, he's made most of his money from online mentorships and he's proud of saying it out loud. Many people see this in a bad way, especially in France, but really, if you provide valuable content to your viewers, they can learn a lot of stuff that will generate further value in the future. Why is it a problem? But don't get me wrong though, and this will apply to real estate as well, all is about creating of course, quality content first, but also bring this whole bunch of extremely valuable information. If you just bring the content that's average, the information they're giving you is not that valuable or that that's something you could have found on the web for free. These people will never be able to grow their audience and sell much. But producing good quality content and valuable information at the same time is hard. But also, I know my videos are far from being perfect. When you see this, I know the brightness is not perfect yet. The sound is not perfect. I'm just starting out and this is fine. And over time, when you get some YouTube revenue, you just get the opportunity to improve. You buy new mics, you buy new cameras. But what's really incredible about this business is that it's extremely scalable, even more than real estate when you think about it. You produce the content once, you upload it on your website, you find a way to sell it with a funnel, and then once it's available online, you can just sell it an unlimited number of times. But you need to be patient. If you keep this consistency, which I'm doing, Five years from now, you really believe you'll be in the exact same spot? This is impossible. Five years from now, we'll make a lot more money and have a much larger audience. Consistency is like the number one criteria. Okay, now the third way, also the one that sadly takes the most time, but it's also the easiest to combine with the two previous ones I just showed you. Obviously, I mean dividend stocks and ETF investing. This makes a huge difference in the long run. And so even when you don't have a ton to invest, since interest compounds over time, the portfolio gets bigger, bigger, bigger and bigger than if you were just keeping your money in a savings account. You can take $100 a month and put this into some dividend stocks and these will also appreciate over time. However, not every stock or ETF appreciates. If you take a dividend yield of 5% a year, but on average it loses 8% in value, of course, you're simply losing money. So you need to be careful about this criterion as well. By choosing the right ETF, and this is something I explain in my ebook, and if you purchase it, you even get a chance to have a look at my personal sheet of stocks and ETFs 
I'm currently invested in and recommend buying as well. And you get a lifetime access. There is an ETF I love, which generates 14 person a year on average when you take the 10 past years, but all the dividends you get from it needs to be reinvested. What's good about it too, is that it's pretty low risk. You can feel the power of 14 person a year against two or three percent, maybe a bit more now with the rate hikes that you would get in a savings account. Like it's not even comparable. But as I said, the main metric there is time. If you keep this consistency, invest, even if it's like 50 or $100 every month, you will get results. Listen, this is very important so that you can see how this works. Even if I keep investing the amount I'm currently investing every month, I will become a millionaire before reaching 35 years old. I'm only 18, 17 years from now, I will be a millionaire no matter what. If I don't do any business like this on the side, if I don't do any real estate development or investment, just with my stock portfolio, and I'm only 18, I don't have like millions to invest at the moment. I will become a millionaire before 35 and anyone can do the exact same. Even if you're just 40 years old, imagine 17 years is like, you will be 57, 57 is right before retirement and you'll be able to enjoy life. Okay, possibility number four, double down on one specific skill set you want to acquire in one specific area of an industry. Take my example again, commercial real estate. No one can replace me like this, like in two months or learn what I've been learning for the past three years in just a couple of weeks. It just doesn't work like this because these skills are hard to acquire and extremely valuable. But the thing that's important to note, although it's very precious and hard to acquire, anyone can do the same. I'm not unique. I'm not like more intelligent by three times than everyone else. No, I'm just like you guys. And if I can do it, you can do it too. It takes time, takes dedication, but if you want to learn something, no matter what, you can do it. Just need the right resources for this to happen. Well, this may seem obvious, but just pick something you love, that's for sure. But that's in a thriving and growing industry. You need something that has a promising future, like AI is a trend now. Will it last? Is it just a fad? Who knows? But I strongly believe in AI and its potential. And I believe that this is the industry you may choose if you believe in it. You need to become that rare person that everyone wants, like a scarce resource, basically, and that no one can really replace that quickly. Don't get me wrong. No one is irreplaceable. With the same skill set, as I said, that anyone can acquire, you may be replaced at any time, but you can be scarce and be only a couple individuals with the same skill set. Not everyone can go out tomorrow, pick a shopping center among 500 other properties and cut a $5 million check three years later. It just doesn't work like this. First, you need to raise capital, be around the right people, be able to find a good deal and understand what's a good deal and obviously differentiate a bad investment from a good investment. If the industry is growing and that you have the skills that everyone wants, trust me, the law of demand is so Apply also applies to the, the job or workforce market. If your skill is extremely valuable, the financial reward that comes with it is huge. Everyone knows real estate development is extremely profitable, right? It's not a secret. But why do so few people get into it, or at least successfully? Because the skill set that you need to acquire is tremendous. I'm not a developer. I cannot like buy a plot of land tomorrow and build a whole shopping center. I don't know how to do that. But amongst the skills you want to pick, choose something that can highlight your existing strengths. Don't pick something that will just highlight the things you don't know how to do. Pick something that just makes you shine. Okay, it's time to wrap up this video for today. And so I just wanted to tell you one more thing, except if you want to build this huge empire, whether it's real estate or something else, and dedicate your whole life to it, becoming exceptional in a specific industry, crossing the $10 million net worth limit seems really complicated. However, if you want to go for two or $3 million, maybe even five, all these techniques I just showed you if you combine them all together, you can realize something absolutely incredible. Not everyone wants to show their face on the internet or build a huge residential or commercial real estate portfolio or start a franchise company, but everyone can invest in stocks, ETFs, buy an apartment, some multifamily real estate, nothing crazy, but that will make you a millionaire in 10 or 15 years from now. Maybe sooner, maybe later, just depends on the pace you want to play. Nothing fancy here, just by doing what I showed you today. 10 years from now, you'll be like, 
10 or 15 times richer than your friends just by investing a little bit into stocks and ETFs. However, reaching this next level, like 10, 50, 100 million dollars, you can probably not do it with what I showed you today. These are people who built entire businesses, real estate portfolios that took them 30 years and they just dedicated their whole life and their whole time to it. Like YouTubers or other social media people who tell you like you can make a hundred million dollars in three years uh, or simply liars. So let's be honest, there was one guy like this and he happened to be a fraud, you see? Really, I believe for 90% of the people out there, just putting 100 or $500 per month in the stock market, if you can afford it, is probably the best way to go if you don't want like to bother too much. I strongly believe that when you have this ability to combine two or more businesses and you know what you're doing, this can be even 10 times more powerful because it compounds exactly like stocks and ETFs with their interest. Well, as always, I really want to thank you today for watching this YouTube video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I sincerely believe that with the information you got from me today, you have this possibility of becoming a millionaire in the next years. If you want to learn more about all the topics I talked about today, I strongly invite you to download my ebook, which is available from today with the link in the description below. You can simply sign up, get this incredible bonus, which is my list of stocks and ETFs I recommend buying and I personally hold. So, you know, I have some skin in the game as well. So if you're interested, the link is right in the description below. You can sign up and you can download it straight away. Inside there is incredibly valuable content about stocks, ETFs, real estate, side hustles, and very original side hustles that you may not find elsewhere. And also savings tips, general investing tips. If you got inspired and start doing something that is consistent and makes sense, then I accomplished my mission. This was Lloyd Gutvalis. See you next week.